Joined now by Natalie Achanwa, and when I think of not just this season, but really your career with the Fever, I think about um, your interchangeability, your ability to start at the five, play with Tierra at the four, come off the bench, play big minutes, really whatever is asked of you. Can you take us through what that's like as a player and why you seemingly thrive in that kind of role? Well, I always say that how I learned the game was it's a team sport, and how I learned it was making sure that you're valuable on the court. So that's how my adaptation of my game has kind of been, is just trying to do what my team needs. So last season that was developing a little bit more of a range in my shot so that I was going to be able to play with Tierra and spread the floor a little bit more. So now it'll be keep developing my game so I can fit in wherever. That's something as you watch practice go on, I'm sure you've worked on outside of this building too. Do you see that as a developing part of your game, talking about that three-point shot? Definitely. Uh, it's going to continue to take some work. Uh, I will never be settled or happy with where my game is at. Uh, it always has to evolve, so I will hopefully next season be more of a three-point threat. You're a very cerebral player, and I know a lot of that comes naturally, but can you take us through um, you know, what goes into your preparations? Because it seems like in that area of the game, right place, right time kind of thing, um, more often than not, that's an advantage for you. Well, that is my biggest advantage because I've never been the fastest, could never jump the highest, never been the most athletic. So my niche has always been my intelligence of the game. And the game is forever evolving. So it's watching game tape on previous seasons, but also watching how the game is changing overseas um, and amongst the NBA as well. You go through this season, and did it seem like as the year went on, especially maybe in, in the last month or so, that you guys caught something tangible, some momentum, something to uh, take into the offseason from a fever standpoint? Definitely, it's experience. Our core is still young, um, but as time goes on and as the more competitive games they get under their belt, and as a team, as we get under our belt, uh, we can only get better. You and Tierra are different types of players, but it seemed like you were a big mentor for her, somebody that she looked up to a lot. What was that experience like, kind of grooming her into, uh, you, you look at where she was at the start of the year, the end of the year, massive difference. I mean, anything I could do to help, uh, whether it's just little pointers that I noticed or whether it's just passing on the experience that I had playing the five position. If she gets better, we get better as a team. So I only saw that as a positive and just trying to pass on that experience that I have. You're a mainstay with Team Canada, and I know you guys have uh, some big games coming up that you'll be a part of, hopefully. Yeah, in November, we have a qualifier for uh, Team Canada and the upcoming Olympics in 2020. So just training and getting ready for that so I can help Team Canada hopefully qualify for the Olympics. I know really exciting for you, you got the news a little bit ago, but you're going to be here very, very soon, uh, inducted into the Notre Dame Athletic Hall of Fame. Yeah, November 8th, uh, we call it a ring of honor at Notre Dame, so my jersey will go up in the arena at their first game, and I'm so excited to have my family and my friends there, and Notre Dame is a big piece of who I am. Uh, so to be able to be honored and the number six overall on the women's side, uh, it's truly an honor for me. That program has had so much success, but it's been amazing watching it, uh, even in recent history. History, your time there and as it has continued to grow and you look at the WNBA there's so many players from Notre Dame now do you take some pride in that definitely I mean and that goes to show the type of players and people that coach McGraw and our coaching staff are developing uh, you go in one person you come out even better uh, I think they really pride themselves in in making women um, strong leaders and competitive on the court one of the handful of pillars for the fever over the last few years has been Natalie Achan, and we always appreciate your insight. Best of luck with Team Canada and in the WNBA offseason. Thank you.